The Copperbelt province has in the past four months witnessed a number of huge investments which have brought hope to the majority unemployed youths. These projects are poised to provide thousands of jobs for the locals. And all this comes at a time when the price for Zambia's staple food is reducing. As for the district commissioners on the Copper Belt, these events are testimony of government's good policies. The results of his visionary leadership are very visible, namely the Kwacha has continued to gain strength against major currencies. The prices of Billy Mill is said to hit a record low because of the bumper harvest. The reduction in the price of Minimi has brought good news to the border town of Chiribombwe, which suffers from smuggling. In the past months, every month was sleeping. Mm. But today I'm able to sleep because of no smuggling. Mm. The price because of water has gone down. Yes. Mm. Actually, what is happening in Chiribombwe? Minimi is coming back from the border to the main town. <laughs> We've been given about eight solar milling plants, mm. which will be under the cooperatives. And it tells that when this uh, they be operational, maybe we will go, the we'll price down. lower, the price will, will come uh, down. We've got the Zambia Collection Service, mm. who are doing a, a 310 hectare mm -hmm. of land, mm. which will be under center pivots. So mm. you can see that once this project comes to fruition, minimum prices will go actually further down than what, what is pertaining today. The copper belt is known for copper production and leaders here are hopeful for a better tomorrow. I just want to urge the mining companies, um, those who are mining copper in the, in the copper belt, is also to participate in developing our communities. Social responsibility. Social responsibility. Copper responsibility. The emeralds that we are mining from the Fuanyama, look, there's nothing that is coming in the Fuanyama yes. in terms of a return to the district. So I think our focus should be in how we, we now benefit from what is happening in a particular district. Government leaders in the Copper Belt are hopeful that measures being put in place will help create jobs and reduce poverty. Copper Belt based district commissioners gave their views on the state of the economy during a recent consultative meeting in Kitwe. Paul Sharada, ZNBC News in Kitwe.